Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the reef. So today I did a ton. All right, so we'll start off with water testing. Uh, our alkalinity today was 8.3, down from, I believe it was 9.1 or 9.3 uh, about a week ago. A little more than a week ago, probably like a, a week and a day. Our calcium is coming back to real numbers at 480. And that was done with Red Sea, obviously. <clears throat> uh, next is our magnesium, which I did do the Hannah checker, but it said it was 1175, and I don't think it was 1175, so I just ignored it for this week. I'll check it again tomorrow, and I'll let you know. Nitrate was 42.2, down from 47.3, I think it was last time we checked it. And uh, our phosphate is plummeted down to 0 0.02. Now we don't want to bottom our phosphate out, so I very well may uh, start dosing some phosphate. Uh, if we get out of ratio, that's when we can have really bad algae issues start up, uh, like dinos and whatnot. And I, I don't feel like fighting dinos again, quite frankly. So uh, we're gonna keep a very close eye on that. Along with that, I needed to clean out the skimmer. Um, I definitely need to completely disassemble it and clean out the, the bottom of it, but until I can get to that point, um, here is what I found when I took the skimmer apart. It was caked, filled with just a thick skimmy. It was disgusting. I literally held a handful of the sludge in my hand. Now, what also didn't help was that the... Uh, the drain tube, as you can see in the lower left-hand side of the, the white area. That drain tube is clear, <clears throat> so it allows algae to build up in the skimmate that flows through. If it doesn't empty, it can congeal in there and solidify up, and that's not good for anyone. So it was pretty much closed up, so we weren't draining the skimmate either. <clears throat> Luckily, I had another piece, another section of... 3 8 inner diameter tubing. As you can see here, I replaced that tube. That goes from the skimmate locker. I also cleaned out some of the uh, sump. I changed the filter socks. That tube was caked, filled. You couldn't even really see where the lumen was in, in it for any liquid to pass through, so it wasn't doing its job. We retuned in the skimmer since it's beautiful and perfectly clean now. <laughs> Luckily, finally. As you can see, the bottom still needs some work. There's still some stuff that has settled out in there. Um, I am waiting to get another maxi jet to vacuum out the sump, and I can use that to vacuum out some other areas too. I also went in with this little scraper and scraped out every all the the algae buildup on the back panel and up at the top of the water line where it builds up very heavily and did that all by hand with this little this little scraper that I I bought. So that's all I did for today. It was a lot. It took me probably about uh, an hour and a half to 2 hours to do everything. And there's still more to do because I still have to get the magnesium checker to work right. So join us for tomorrow for even more fun, and we'll see you then. Have a great day.